Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just quickly dancing Ava and Lady, and today I have a very different video for you guys. And um, don't mind the face; it's somewhat early. I've already got my day kind of started. I actually wanted to start this off like right at the beginning of the day, but Nathaniel, mommy duty calls, so it is what it is. I am giving myself a challenge. So you might have seen floating around online um, a 10,000 step challenge. And um, I've been thinking about it for a while now, since since like really the pandemic has hit. I've transitioned into much more of a sedentary lifestyle. I am definitely not nearly as active as I used to be. I used to dance, you know, three to five times a week and then go out for errands and things like that. But because we are home a lot more now, still currently not dancing um, out in the studio and I do some training at home, but it's different. I'm noticing things. So, so what I'm doing is I'm going to challenge myself with a 10,000 step challenge. So now you might be wondering, what does that have anything to do with Avon? Like, shouldn't this be on your vlog channel, Jess? The reason why I'm introducing it on here is because at Avon, we are actually one of the number one uh, corporate fundraisers for breast cancer uh, and breast cancer um, of, of, of affiliated associations can't think of the words quite like i say it's somewhat early right now i haven't even had like my first cup of tea yet so i decided you know what this is the most amazing opportunity for me to take a moment to really think about taking care of myself self-health self-love 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 and at the same time support an amazing cause so i decided to go and buy the pink pedometer watch from avon from our newest breast cancer crusade at the time of filming it's not quite yet available for um consumers it's not released yet however for me as a representative it is and this is not really a first impression because i did open this already the time obviously on this is incorrect it is not 1 24 p.m <laughs> this is the pedometer watch and it's going to help me count my steps so today I what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be taking like a baseline measurement I think I take probably about two to three thousand steps a day and I feel like I might be being, being a little bit generous like honestly I puddle around with the kids a lot and I but I do do a lot of my work just on the computer or on my phone right now and um I know as a human being i need better balance and having a healthier lifestyle and that's really what this is all about i need to have a healthier lifestyle for myself you know to take care of myself my body my health and of course for my kids so yeah i can run around and you know be here a long long time for them so that is why i am starting this journey i'm gonna do it as a two-week challenge and then release it and then probably just kind of continue it on on my own from there or do an extension on the vlog channel i would really like to get this launched for the beginning of October because um, my team and I, we have something kind of cool and special planned for everybody. So if you haven't yet, make sure you do follow me on Facebook. Look me up on the Dancing Avon Lady. Anyways, I'm going to put this on now. I have to figure out how this works. And then from there, I am going to be this is going to count my steps. I probably have taken like a couple of hundred steps already today, uh, just because in the morning I have an exercise routine that I do with Nathaniel. He exercises, I exercises. It's a happy moment. And then of course his breakfast routine. So let's take this out. It is really pretty. I've always wanted to get a pedometer, never end up getting one. I usually you just use my phone, but because I use my phone so much for filming, um, it just didn't make sense for me to continue using my phone. And again, this, this supports a great cause. 10% of all of the uh, proceeds do go to breast cancer and breast cancer affiliated causes. So here is the pedometer itself. Again, this is not a first impressions for me because I did show this to my team when we were, you know, formulating the idea together. And what it is good is that it comes with information on how to work it. Safety warnings, don't wear too tight. So this is called an LCD Fit Watch. It's a non-user replaceable battery. So in order to get the battery change on this, you need to take it to a jeweler or a watch repair center. Do not use in a sauna or a steam room. Do not try to abuse, okay. All right, I will promise not to abuse this. Well, main thing is I need to figure out how to reset it. In order for the steps to function to track accurately, you need to move and swing your arms when you walk. If your arm is straight or stiff when you walk, the stem function will not track accurately. Oddly enough, I know somebody who has really, really, really minimal movement when he walks. Like, 
really, uh, I comment on it all the time because it's just so shocking how little his arms move when he wants. So that's the other thing because like when I push the stroller, I'm going to need to know that I can't have one of my hands pushing the stroller. If I'm walking, it's a very low uh, impact exercise. But if you do have uh, health concerns, um, such as high blood pressure or anything, or if you have any concerns, before you set this challenge, make sure you do consult with your physician. Overall, I am a very healthy individual. I just need to exercise more. Ah, this is what I was looking for, instructions. I want to do this part off camera, so because it might take me a minute to figure this all out. Okay, so now the time is set in order to do the steps. So if you change this here, if you press it, it'll do the different steps. So, so far this has recorded 3,000 steps, probably through like transport and stuff. To reset the steps, I press the set button. Okay, that was easy enough. Distance, press the mode button two times. So here, that is the distance, and that's in miles. I wonder if I can change it from miles to kilometers. No, I don't think I can. And then press the set button for weight measurement. <laughs> All right, so I set it. I'm not showing this, but it's an approximate because it goes by like five pound intervals. So that is done. Now all I have to do is wear this baby. All day and night. I like the fact that it is pink though, because pink goes with so many things. And it's a very light pink. It's very pretty. The strap itself is kind of like a silicone. And it, it has like multiple holes for like comfort, like for the different size of wrists and stuff. I'm going to like the calorie counter thing. Let's do this. Not going to film the whole journey here. Today's going to be the baseline. And then tomorrow, I'm actually going to start with the steps. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll check in later on tonight, guys. My hair is crazy right now, but that's okay. The time is now about 4.20, and surprisingly, I have already taken 5,000 steps. That is actually shocking for me. The day has not finished yet. I've just finished a bunch of team meetings and team trainings, but I have been running after Nathaniel and stuff, and just running up and down the stairs, just doing my usual thing. So I guess my base isn't as bad as I thought it was. I'm not nearly as scared for the next upcoming two weeks. So but I'm going to check back in a little bit later again, and... See where that takes us. It's just before midnight on my base day and I am about to go to bed. So I figured I would record it. Surprisingly, I did 9,783 steps according to the pedometer. It could be because I did like an extra workout during the day today while I was, um, what was I doing? I was proofing something. And so sometimes when I'm proofing something, I'll just kind of like jog on spot or do some jumping jacks and stuff. Um, so I did get like a second little mini workout there. So maybe that's how I got my steps up so high. Or maybe I'm just not as inactive as I thought I was and I just got to boost it up more. So tomorrow will be the official day one, which is a Saturday. So I'm going to be going from Saturday to, I guess it'll be the Friday, uh, recording my results and also just kind of like bo both physically and mentally um, to kind of get things up and running for this two week initial challenge of taking 10,000 steps a day. Stay tuned for the next, some clippage from, clippage? Clippage is a new word. Some clippage from the next two weeks. All right, guys? Good morning. It is day two. This is, well, actually, technically, this is day one. This is the official day that I am starting the challenge. Have my pedometer on. And so far, I've already taken like 1,700 steps, which is kind of surprising, but I was moving things in and out of the car to prep for my delivery day today. So I do anticipate that today I won't have much of a problem getting through the 10,000 steps um, because after deliveries, we have plans to go play in the park, go for a walk and play in the park. So I will check back in with you later. All right, it's the end of the night. It's about 11 o'clock and not going to bed yet, but Nelson and I were going to watch an episode of The Expanse. Um, but total, I have surprisingly taken 12,600 steps. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I didn't feel that bad. We did go to the park and play soccer and ran around a bit, so that's probably why. Anyways, have a good night. I'll check guys in with you. I'll check guys with you. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when my brain doesn't work at night anymore, guys. I will check in with you guys again tomorrow. It's about 9.30 at night, and we are at the end of day two for the 10,000 step challenge. Today, I was a bit of a slow start. I actually forgot to put the pedometer on at the beginning of the day until about an hour and a half after I'd gotten up. So it was like, ah. Eh, 
slightly slow start, but I made up for it at the end. I'm at 11,000 steps, 11,059 steps, or 60. That's it. Nothing really exciting to report. We did a lot of cleaning today, which requires a bit of walking and stuff. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. The background's so messy. I gotta clean my makeup area. See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's a work day, so it'll be exciting to see how stationary I am. But mind you, though, I did notice that I was much more mindful during my wait times. For example, like if I'm waiting for something to microwave, I would like jog on spot just to make sure I got my steps in. So I was definitely more mindful of that. Good night. Hi. How are you saying hi? <laughs> How are you saying hi? All right, good morning. It is the morning of day three of this 10,000 step challenge and got the morning up and running. Uh, Ginevra is doing some asynchronous online activities right now for school. I got my pedometer on. I remember to put it on after about like half an hour or so, so it's not too bad today. Here we go. Today is a full day of office work, so it's going to be interesting to see whether or not I can make that 10,000 step mark. And this, these are the days that I've, I worry about how inactive I am. Um, mind you, I'm chasing around this little guy a lot now. So I might still be able to get it in. We'll see. I will touch base again a little bit later on. It is now about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm only at 3,800 steps. I am a little worried because I still have a bunch of meetings for the rest of the day. So yeah, I'm going to march on spot, walk on spot during some of those. I think that I don't have to present. This is what I mean. This is how, this is me being very like inactive. Anyways, let's get walking. That was actually really rough. It is past midnight. A lot of meetings. I did jog during some of my meetings <laughs> and I was walking back and forth while brushing my teeth to try to get those steps in. But yeah, that was, took a bit of work. So now I'm going to bed. 10,001 or two or three or whatever. 10, just over 10,000. Good night, y'all. Hey, all right. It is the end of, I think, day four now of this 10,000 step challenge. And I look a little bit crazy, but I had a bit of a insanely crazy day. So as you can see here, I have taken over 12,000 steps today. Um, had a bunch of appointments um, out and about plus Avon deliveries and running around with the kids a bit. Um, today, so hitting the steps wasn't that bad. So I guess I'm doing actually okay. Yay! All right, it's order night, so cutting this short tonight. See you guys tomorrow. It is just past midnight, and I made 10,120 steps for today. Barely made it by the skin of my teeth. I actually took the pedometer off when I was doing some washing and I forgot to put it back on so I might have done a little bit more uh, we did have a lot of fun doing it today though we um, went out and we played soccer with Ginevra on the uh, on our driveway so that was really fun I'm going to bed it's day five that's right anyways I have a knowledge check quiz tomorrow for our representative and mentors five live event and uh, so I have to be bright-eyed and bush-tailed and my brain has to be working in the morning for that so i'm going to bed good night that's my check-in for the day it's like way past midnight and i didn't quite make the ten thousand. the reader's at nine thousand three hundred and six. although i do think i technically would have made the ten thousand, but i had taken off the pedometer while i was washing some stuff and i forgot to put it back on for like two or three hours yeah so that's okay. I'm going to count like I only did 9,000 steps. Tomorrow I'm going to make it up by doing 11,000 steps, which is the plan. Nelson's like, yeah, right. So we'll see. Gotta go to bed. Good night. It is approaching 12.45 a.m. And I'm at 11,500 steps. Um, yeah, it was actually really easy today. I did a lot of chores. So it was just a lot of in and out and running around and stuff plus taking care of the kids because Nelson was doing some renos in the garage so so far besides 
was it the day before that I missed it by a thousand steps? It hasn't been that hard. So I think if I'm actually going to do a, I want to finish this up as a 10,000 step challenge. I mean, we're halfway at the halfway point right now. But uh, I think if I were to actually really challenge myself, I'd need to do like at least 14,000 steps or like 15,000 steps or something like that to really challenge myself. But we'll figure that out after these two weeks are done. All right, the time is now quarter after 10 p.m. I am about 4,000 steps away from what I should have for today. And so I am going to do some ring fit to see if that can keep me engaged and excited <laughs> during these steps because I have been either doing school or filming or stuff all day and I have not got my steps done. So here I am with crazy hair, about to do some ring fit to try to get another 4,000 steps. Ready, boo? I'm eating cookies. <laughs> A year to get through this. This just, you can skip it. How? This is just a um, warm up. Wow. So you don't like die. <laughs> Check to see if the steps thing on yeah, the pedometer. Yeah, they might just kind of... <laughs> Come on, faster. <laughs> knees high. No, knees high. There you go. You're slowing down. Which means less steps. <laughs> knees up, knees up. Knees up. There you go. <laughs> You're one out of the seven done. Wait, how many steps was that? Oh, not bad. 500? Okay. That's so, Tom, bad. Noah, so you need... If, by the time you finish all this, you would have gotten all your steps in. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. Okay. And fast forward. It is now midnight. And ta-da! 12,200 steps. So, basically, the night yesterday, I did not complete the challenge. Um, I was at just over 8 thousand but it was because i had an insane migraine it was like literally a shooting pain behind my left eye the entire day pretty well until i took like two tylenols and then it just became this like throb and so i ended up going to bed really early and i was just like screw it i'm going to make up for the challenge today and i did i did the ring fit it took me about what 25 ish minutes to get like a good couple of thousand steps in my feet are killing me they're so sore right now i need to wear shoes or socks or something or at least vacuum up little play-doh bits that are on the floor anyways that's it for tonight's challenge guys uh i think i only have like five days left until the two weeks done but i'll probably continue it anyways afterwards now just before 11 p.m and I have achieved my 10,000 steps for the day. We went to the park after school because Ginevra was in front of the computer for a very long time today and I just needed her to get out of the house, get some fresh air. And so we decided to go to the park and play some soccer. So that really helped. There was definitely no struggle at all, even though I had like seven meetings today, um, literally just going out and running around for an hour playing soccer with my kid was enough to help push over that boundary so yay no crazy ring fit for me tonight it is now 1 a.m i am at just over 10,000. all right i think today is day 12 i think yeah i is that 11 or 12 so it's one of those days i'm not quite there yet. it's only 7 40 p.m i have like two more meetings tonight but um, I'm at 7,000 steps. So what I've been doing is while Nathaniel is getting ready for bed by crawling around, we always give him like a little bit of crawling time. I've been pacing around in his room for the last about, let's say, 15 minutes or so. And I've gotten, you know, a good couple of hundred steps in. So keep going until it's bedtime. And then tonight I might have to ring fit again. It's not bad. It actually is kind of fun. I just... I was so sore the next day. Oh my gosh. So sore. So out of shape. But that's okay. I'm a crazy person. I'm done. It's 1am. 10,005. Good night. It's quarter to one. Tomorrow's delivery day. I actually think today's my 14th day, but I gotta double check and count. 
But I'm pretty sure today's my 14th day. And today's my 14th day. That means I completed the challenge because we are now at 10,029 steps. Woohoo! The numbers are lower. Partially because I, um, really busy working on a very cool project launch with some of our team mentors. And also, um, I took it off to do something. And then I forgot to put it back on twice today. So my mind's really preoccupied. Tomorrow's the big delivery day, so good night, y'all. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little challenge that I part partook, partaked, part that I took part in anyways. And um, if you're interested in doing your own 10K challenge, make sure that you do join our Million Steps of Hope Facebook group because on October 31st, we are doing a virtual 10K walkathon. It's from the comforts of your home. If you can't join us during that time, just join whenever you can. Make sure you post up your photo of either you with your pedometer or you outside doing a walk or a mini video, whatever you want. Hashtag Million Steps for Hope, Avon Canada, Hands for Hope, and also tag the person that invited you to the group. Now, from a personal perspective, doing the 10K steps a day for two weeks actually wasn't as insane as I thought it was going to be. It did make me a lot more mindful of how much I do sit. So I did find myself standing at my, 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 kitchen counter more because that's where I work right now standing up kitchen counter and then when I'm like going through videos and things like that I would walk on spot to get the steps in also did the same thing if I'm heating anything up in the microwave I will do my little steps then or some sort of physical activity so that has really helped from a health perspective um, I did find myself like because I look at my body every day, I didn't physically notice much of a change. However, customers who didn't see me for two weeks, they said, hey, Jess, you know, you look like, like you slimmed us down a bit. So I'm like, yay. I think it's just because it's I'm toning a little bit more. And my husband said that my legs looked a little bit more toned. So I guess, you know, with the extra steps, it did make a slight difference. Mentally, it was nice to take those little mindful mental breaks to actually just either put, you know, focus um to put uh, physical health as a priority. And so that was definitely nice. I am going to continue doing this for the next month. For, so for all of October, I'm not gonna film every day, but for all of October, I am going to continue on with the steps challenge, wearing my pedometer, wearing pink every day because October is breast cancer month. And so I hope that you will also join us in this little adventure doing 10 steps, 10,000 steps a day, or if you want 12,000 steps a day, 15,000 steps a day, or you know, if you find 10,000 steps too much, maybe even just 8,000 steps a day, whatever your baseline is right now, just up it a little bit to really challenge yourself. Of course, though, make sure you do check with your healthcare pr practitioner before you partake in a physical physical activity challenge. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you do need a pedometer such as this one here, I got mine from Avon's Pink Hope Collection, which means that they will be donating 10% of the purchase price uh, to breast cancer and breast cancer affiliated organizations and fundraisers. Avon is the number one corporate supporter for breast cancer. I don't know if it's in Canada or globally, but we are doing a huge event this entire month. So make sure you do touch base with us on Facebook. Join in on all the fun. We're going to have like live meetings. Uh, we're going to have, you know, daily check ins and things like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.